Forza Horizon 4 has been out for about a week now on Xbox and PC, and by PC I mean Xbox Play Anywhere. After playing it for about the week or so, here's my review of the game. But before we get started, if you guys could hit that subscribe button down below to help me grow the channel and so you can get notified for when I upload new videos, that would be awesome. Also, please feel free to check out my other videos, including my Let's Play series of Forza Horizon 4. So Forza Horizon 4 is the newest installment to the Forza series. The Horizon games have always been the open world alternative to the track racing arcade sim Forza Motorsport. This game follows the Horizon Festival, a traveling music and car festival which has been located in various places such as Colorado, Italy, and France, Australia, and now Great Britain. Overall, I was going into this game with mild enthusiasm because I thought it would just be kind of like the same thing as the past Horizons, but to my surprise, this game is actually my favorite of the series by far and I've been enjoying it a lot. First off, upon starting the game, you notice the stunning graphics, which even look great in the lower quality, higher performance mode, which is what I always play in because I prefer the 60 FPS rather than 30 for that smooth gameplay. In my opinion, this has been the best looking game on any console by far. The level of detail, textures, and lighting all mesh together to create this really nice visual experience, especially when played on an Xbox One X in 4K on a 4K display. Like I mentioned, I play on that visual performance mode over the quality mode. Now I'm not sure exactly what resolution that runs in, but I feel like it's either 1440p at 60 FPS or maybe a detuned 4K at 60 FPS. Because when I record gameplay, kind of like what you're seeing in the background, I record that at 1080 and it looks a little different than when I actually play the game, even prior to compression and stuff like that from uploading and editing. As far as gameplay, it's pretty on par with any other Forza Horizon game and it gives you a very familiar experience. There are plenty of races and a ton of different disciplines for you to do and they're all equally enjoyable. Also, as some of you may know, I use a wheel for all my racing games, at least the ones that support it, and this game makes massive strides over the previous Horizon games. The previous games would be a bit twitchy and kind of light in the feedback, but this game feels much more realistic and it actually kind of simulates the feel of contact between the tire and your driving surface. The Forza series has always held the throne as far as car lists go, and this time is no exception. This game has over 450 cars from launch that you can use to race and explore the highly detailed world. There are a ton more races in Forza Horizon 4 and they are spread amongst four different categories, which I mentioned. Uh, you have street scene, road racing, dirt, and cross country. They also have drag racing at an official drag strip that has working lights, so you can get a much better drag race going online. There are also three Horizon story missions, which I suspect they'll add more of in the future. In one, you're a stunt driver for a movie, and another, you drive for a Twitch slash Mixer esque live streamer person. And the final is Drift Club. You can also own a business, which is a supercar rental business called the World's Fastest Rentals, where you drive really fast cars and do various challenges. I definitely feel like they'll add more missions like these in the future. As far as free roaming and map size, this map is quite large, pretty similar to the size of the last game. And as seasons pass, it almost feels like a new map. I also haven't experienced this thing that I call garage syndrome. This is something that happened a ton in Forza Horizon 3 and even in games like GTA Online where you just go around the map and you drive around the map for whatever and you go in whatever direction you want but you always end up at the same garage over and over again. So for example, in Horizon 3, you'd always kind of end up at the desert garage or the one in the city. And this game doesn't really do that. As for the seasons, you start off with each season being connected to your progression in the game but once you hit the first summer the game will switch over to this like full version where everyone's seasons are in sync and each one is about a week long of real time and they're all perfectly aligned my only complaint as far as seasons go is that winter is a bit annoying especially if you want to do something that requires like a hyper car or something along those lines because they will have zero grip even with snow tires and even slow cars kind of need snow tires otherwise you just can't really do much there are sadly only five showcase events in this game but I think they are much cooler than the previous Horizons. One of them is even a Halo themed event, which I don't really want to spoil for anyone, but I'll just say it's pretty awesome. There's a decent amount of cars that you can do full customization to with like body kits and whatnot, much more than the previous game, and some of them are even surprising cars. They've also added a drifting suspension option and some track width options, and it makes drifting a lot easier. I quickly mentioned a house earlier, but this game has houses, and each house will give you different abilities, and there's a decent amount of houses 
houses, but sadly most of them are pretty expensive. There are even two castles, one of which is 10 million and the other is 15 million, and they're not really worth it in my opinion, although they do both give you cars and some wheel spins. I also get a more official car meet and slash like cars and coffee kind of feel from this game as well. With the addition of quick chat and a single and more centralized Horizon Festival, and there are usually people drag racing or just drifting around every time I go there, and it's pretty cool. For some reason, I get this more community-like vibe from this game than I did with the others. I only wish the chat was more like Rocket League with more menus for different types of quick chat or a way to type an actual message out if you got to get something out there and not go to their profile and all that. You could change the quick chat options, but... I'm talking about like a more easy to access menu thing rather than going into your settings and changing around all the quick chat stuff. I just want something easier. Now skip, wait, or buy. I say go for it and buy. This game off the bat is worth the $60 price tag to me. Turn 10 and Playground Games are a very trustworthy company and they always come with the heat as far as a good game and this is no different. The graphics are truly stunning. The physics are much improved from Horizon 3. You get the largest car list of any racing game, and all the cars are very highly detailed with the exception of a few having a stock generic sound, at least that's how it seems to me, but I don't really care. There will be months of DLC to come as well if you choose to buy any or get the car pass. They'll also be doing two expansions for this game as well, and you don't actually have to spend $60 to get this game. You can get this game for $10 a month with the Xbox Game Pass, and... Pretty much all of my friends got the game that way. I feel confident in saying this time around I believe Forza has solidified itself as the best all-around racing game. It's a game that casual players can pick up and play from the couch, or a sim racer can play with a wheel and pedal setup, and both people will have pretty much the same exact experience and they'll both enjoy the game equally. Now if you don't mind, I'm gonna go explore more of Great Britain and something real fast. If you guys like this review and wanna see more reviews on this channel, Please hit that like button below to let me know. Let me know what you think of the game so far in the comments or if you agree with me or whatever. Please let me know. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notified for when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching guys. See y'all next time. Peace.